Hey everyone, I'm John Sisson and today we're taking a look at the Sony 30mm f2.8 lens for the Sony A-mount system. The 30mm f2.8 is a dedicated macro lens and is designed for APS-C size sensors such as the A58 and the A77 Mark II which I have in my hand. It's also one of Sony's cheapest lenses as it was launched as one of their uh, lenses in their easy choice range. So stay tuned as I take a look at its build, handling, features, image quality and of course what I personally think of it. The lens is made entirely of plastic and dare I say feels rather cheap. It accepts 49mm filters and on the side you have a switch to change from autofocus to manual focus. The lens weighs approximately 150 grams, so it's not adding too much weight to your kit and it's really easy to handhold. And despite its cheap plastic build, it's what this lens offers that's impressive. The lens isn't exactly quiet when used in autofocus, but when using it in manual focus, the focus ring is smooth to turn and having the focus distance printed on the focus ring can be useful too. The main reason to get this lens is of course for its close focusing capabilities. It can focus as close as 2 centimeters, and having that sort of feature can get you different perspectives and details that regular lenses can't. It can also be used for different applications like street photography and your casual snapshots. Having that 2.8 aperture also makes it a great lens for low light conditions. For a cheap lens it actually delivers some pretty good images. It doesn't have that Zeiss pop, but out of focus blur is smooth and it's tack sharp when stopped down from its maximum aperture. While using it on my A77 Mark II, I've taken shots that have plenty of detail, and whilst it's not particularly great in the corners, the color fringing is kept to a minimal. The Sony 30mm f2.8 is a budget lens more suited for entry level users, but could also be enjoyed by enthusiasts and professional photographers. Though it does have a plastic build and feels rather cheap, it's its image quality that impresses, especially when you factor in the price. So I'd have no issues recommending this for entry level users who want to dabble in the art of macro photography, as those who want to use it for casual snapshots and even food photography. So if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below and if you already own one, let me know what you think of it and remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more Sony lens reviews and tutorials. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram and on my blog for more photo updates and sample photos. Until then, happy shooting and thanks for watching.